score readings? Are we going to say anything, Dan? Oh, no, he's pretending he's annoyed because of Blumhouse. Oh, is that the gimmick we're playing? Oh, I'm not That's pretending. what he's doing. I'm not pretending. Uh, I am very annoyed. Yeah, here's the fucking show, guys. We got uh, Bloom in the house tonight. and we got <laughs> Bloom a, we got in the house. house? That's the next shirt. <laughs> We got to do oh, yeah. five of these goddamn things. So uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up because I've suffered or a lot. Or thumbs down, period. apparently. Well, yes, and, and he has suffered a lot. Dan uh, sent me a, an actual photo of when he was watching the films. I'll throw it up for you. There you go. So for those audio listeners, it, it appears Dan is... Okay, Dan, I'm just going to call out all the issues in this photo. One, you're holding the bottle and you're like... But you're passed out. Come on. If you're going to stage something, stage it right. He's a cool guy. It's a cool you guy. Laid photo. on the floor with a bottle next to you. Piss stain. That should have <laughs> just been an Orange Cassidy gimmick tonight and just give you the whatever the hell stupid thing he does. But uh, yeah, we got some movies to talk about. We'll see if they're good. Uh, maybe. You'll be surprised. Maybe not. But uh, yeah. Welcome to the Bloom House. God damn it. I'm Daniel True. Stein. That is the predator, Todd Loya. At, well, you said hi, I guess. And that's Pugs Dread. I didn't say hi. Not You're supposed thing. to explain the name. Come well, on. You say it fast enough. So, so fuck you. And there's Pugs Dread. You made me watch these movies. God damn it. There's Pugs uh, Dread. One, we don't make anyone watch anything. You chose to watch these movies. For you and guys. For so, you guys. So where's the, the audience? Force? So you're yelling at our audience? What a Damn, good. Dan. I'm not yelling at him. You just said you guys. I hope you appreciate yeah. it. I I take uh, Cash App. I take you know you. Dan, I'm you don't even know how to ever... use Cash App. <laughs> Who can say? <laughs> he can barely take PayPal. <laughs> I know how to do the PayPal, sir. You know uh, how to do it, Dan. I have some help, but I I do have one. <laughs> it gets done. But, that's the bottom line. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, yeah, we, we got some movies to talk about. So well, why don't we just get this done then? <laughs> does that mean like end my own life right now? Or does that mean talking about the movies? Uh, dealer's choice. <laughs> Take a pig. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I'll, I still have a little Although Patreon, bit. Uh, Patreon at the, I, don't, I forgot, on the fourth tier, Dan will open up his veins. He won't die, though. <laughs> Is this a thing? I, I, do I need to add this tier? The secret tier. Self-termination oh, tier. tier. Uh, I'm right. survive. Okay, we got to do this a couple times. Yeah. Why would they Should... pay then? To watch you bleed. Just to just a gig? I mean, I come on. No, 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 no. no. We're opening it. We're gonna. It's an emergency room visit for sure. Yeah. But we're gonna give them their money's worth. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, there you go. That and more the hard reason. way. More reason, <laughs> more reason to get on the, the Patreon. Uh, so anyways, uh, I hope Kruger's not listening to this because, yeah, I don't. Oh, he'll open it for you. No problem. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All you right. doing it. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. So anyways. Uh, New Jack style. We'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'll bring a taser. Mass dandruff. No, that didn't work. <laughs> 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 I tried to. Mass dandruff. I was trying to combine transit I'm and ball, Dan. motherfucker. God damn it. And yet you still have dandruff. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, I'm saying it doesn't make sense. How do you have dandruff if you're fucking bald? Well, I'm you sure. Ear dandruff. Ear dandruff. Well. Anywhere you nose dandruff. Well, there you go. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got to ask Andrew. <laughs> ask Andrew. I've not heard of that one. That's that's new well, to me too. But shit, <laughs> we'll just go. Yeah, might have some of that in there too. Could exist. Uh, so anyway, speaking of Ask Andrew, uh, our first uh, Bloomhouse film for the evening is Bingo Hell from director Gigi Saul Guerrero. And in this one, in the barrio of Oak Springs lives a strong and stubborn group of elderly friends who refuse to be gentrified. Their leader, Lupita, keeps them together as a community. But little did they know their beloved bingo hall is about to be sold to a much more powerful force than money itself. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Pugs, what did you think of Bingo Hell? Uh, movie of the year. No, I, it, it's... This movie's like, there's a lot to like in it. We have Richard Brake. We have the, actually, I do like seeing old people get like, you know, 
a little vulgar and like, you know, they're just hanging out, uh, minding their own damn business when the gentrification starts happening and, you know, people are moving out and stuff. Um, story wise, it's okay. It's very vibrant. It looks, it looks, uh, it's very bright. And again, I liked hanging out with the old ladies and Richard break his rules. And I think I covered all that ground already. However, the story wise, it's, it's okay. It's not a, a total shit to bed. It's not a home run. I had I spent like an hour and a half with these old people I liked, and most of that time was fun. So I'm not gonna be a Dan about it, but I'm not ecstatic either. So, um, yeah, I, I like the old ladies. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Todd or Dan? Are you gonna shit the bed already? We're talking about the movie, not your porn preferences, bugs. Oh, I don't like. Uh, I need teeth. <laughs> Dan, we can talk about your porn in the last your, episode your porn room. <laughs> Dan has, has a an entire room. room. It's not an entire room. I'm not ashamed that I have porn. It's not it's an, an entire, entire room. room. It's an entire room. A little less than half, if you want the option. Oh, here we go. Now <laughs> the truth starts creeping out. But that's not a whole room. There's also sci-fi DVD. No, 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 no. You're, you're lying right now because next next thing, oh, it's like a third of the room. Then when you finally come clean, yeah, it's the entire I don't house. Even, I wouldn't even half is maybe half. But not even fully. Maybe half. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he's already inching up. I know. Anyway. The numbers keep going. No, anyway. it might be less than half. But anyways. No, you, bingo hell, Dan. Uh, what granny porn did you get into? Bingo hell. Uh, no, nah, hey, I would have preferred it. Um, so, uh, Lupita, the lead, very entertaining, great actress. Um, that's going to be about it as far as good things. I mean... Uh, truth be told, a lot of these uh, Bloom movies, they're they're competently shot. Usually the actors are pretty good. Um, it's just, this is kind of like, how to describe Bingo Hell. This is like a more comedic version of need, uh, Needful Things directed, or, well, not directed, made by a hack. It's just, it's just not very good. It has some tone issues at times they're kind of trying to play play it serious i mean i i'd call this a horror comedy i guess but i don't know maybe it would have done better just leaning more into the comedic elements um i didn't like it uh yeah i like jonathan or, or i like uh, richard brake but does he save this no he's there that's not enough for me uh i just thought it was kind of a dumb story and um, I don't have that type of unity in my neighborhood. I want to be left the fuck alone, usually. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple okay gore bits in this. I mean, I don't know. I just... It didn't do anything for me. And on paper, it sounded like it might be somewhat interesting. I, I thought it would be a little more like VFW. Oh, it's yeah. definitely nothing like VFW. You really I'm thought you'd get scale. that from Bloom? I was open. Yeah. Uh, um, no, it's nothing like that. Uh, out of all, I, I could see so, this one. I can at least imagine some of you maybe getting a kick out of. Um, save the rest for later for, for the others. No, I didn't say that it's um, my favorite. It's not, but uh, I, <laughs> I just don't know. I, I can't really come up with like a reason. Yep. There you go. That's for you video uh, watchers. That sums it up perfectly. For those who uh, are audio listeners, we're showing a photo of Dan passed out, holding his bottle perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Sorry, I don't it's know. the predator in me. It, it, it balance, tries to balance the comedy and the horror. And it, it ended up not being funny or, or scary. scary. Not you know, it just fails on all fronts. Uh, I know the 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 uh, director, I believe, also did Culture Shock and Into the Dark episode. Um, I don't remember that one off the top. That's of the Fourth of July with the Mexican people. That's what I thought it was, and don't quote me on that. But that's kind of what I don't know the yeah, it, 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 my my I kind of remember game, liking but, that one. How how um, far we've come from the first season of Into the Dark. Oh my God! Yeah, it, it all turns from his one comment. Everything after that's when it changed. Yeah, 
that she's done a lot of shorts, uh, but I believe this is her feature debut. If we're counting into the darkest television, I believe. Um, well, it's not on television, so I don't yeah. know what we call well, it. Well, I don't know. It's an episode. I mean, I would still consider that a movie. But, yeah, I don't know. Todd, what did you, what did you think? Because I, out of all of them, I thought maybe you guys might have more of a defense for this one. But I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure where you guys are at. It's in the middle. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I'm kind of like where Pug was. I like the old ladies, but it was. I, I just kind of wish they were on a different adventure. Like, yeah. It, it kind of. Uh, no, that was the other one. L. Scott Caldwell from Lost. Another I will say actor. this, and sorry, this is a spoiler for all of them. We all kept our runtime under ninety minutes, which I applaud. Yeah. Hey, yes, absolutely. None of these. I saw like uh, one twenty-one. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> that needs to be a mandate for for certain things. But anyway, no, no blue an movie hour over ninety. <laughs> we'll Just give him ninety. Seven, Seventy the minutes is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Seventy. Yeah. I, again, though, good actors. They didn't have any material to work with here. It, it could have been way worse, dude. I, yeah, I, I think yeah. I'm factoring that in. <laughs> All right. Well, do we have anything else? Or, or should we rate it? Yeah, let's yeah, rate I, it. We'll go ahead and rate it. Um, like I said, any of the drama, the social messaging, it's, it's bloom. They don't do it well. Um, so... <sighs> I'm a one and a half. Maybe, maybe somebody out there might get a little more enjoyment out of it, but I, I didn't like it. Well, I got a little more enjoyment out of it. I am a three, Ooh. and that's, I like the ladies. I think their relationship is cool. There's some moments where they were they're overacting, and again, I don't understand that community uh, togetherness. But uh, <laughs> I'm, I I like them so. You don't know your neighbors, Pugs? You don't I would like... prefer if I didn't, honestly. <laughs> I want to live next to a serial killer because they mind their own fucking business. There are Unless certain neighbors I do love though. So, what if what if you're like they never their, kill their, their neighbor? Life. They what never their... kill their neighbor. I said serial killer, not just a criminal. <laughs> although <laughs> if you although if you have serial killer friends, they could not get your neighbor too. I did just finish Dexter season eight. So ah, okay. and the what? first First episode is out. Well, yeah, I know. I watch that. Oh, and the second episode. You yeah. have a dog. You're next to BTK. You're the neighbor. Your dog's shitting on his lawn. He might kill you if you piss him off. Nah. Uh, my, if I had a dog, it would not shit on his lawn because that's an asshole move. So no, <laughs> would I, I would love to have a serial killer neighbor, and they would love to have me. I don't smell shit. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, the smell would bother me. I might overlook the like. I got fans. I keep me it's like. I don't like you outside anyway, so I'm not. Yeah, I'm not the problem. The unusual amount of garbage bags. I can overlook that, but I mean, if it stinks, it stinks. Like, dude, yeah, lice or whatever it is that kills it. You gotta do. Did something. I read it yet? Not yet. No, you didn't. We're we talking, got, oh, okay. talking about uh, perfect neighbors in the series. Uh, yes, one of them. Uh, I'm a two and a half. I'm in the middle. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it, th this one I can't highly recommend though. So that's mm -hmm. this is like one of those old school. Uh, uh, straight to straight to home blockbuster or mom and pop store. Like, oh, let's see what this is. Well, I'm gonna, I paid my I'm, money. I'm gonna finish this fucking thing. I'm gonna make Dan Pitt the one he would recommend to people at the end. That's that's what he has to do at the end. Don't I don't might have one? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Well, you're gonna I, have to now. Of the walk of the Blumhouses, the Welcome to the Blumhouse one. All right. Uh, so moving on to. The second one uh, that we watched, uh, which is Black as Night. I cannot but... wait to talk about this. <laughs> From director Marit Ligo. Uh, and in this one, a teenage girl with self-esteem issues finds confidence in the most unlikely way by spending her summer battling vampires that prey on New Orleans disenfranchised with help of her best friend, the boy she's always pined for, and a professor peculiar uh rich girl uh all right so i keep hoping like that maybe maybe we'll get one of those very rare gems uh from bloom and this is not it this guy this this movie is a piece of shit um blue the description i did no i missed it 
There, there's the poster. Yeah. God damn it. Uh, yeah, I said. So you so, didn't like Blackie the Vampire Slayer? You racist mother. Dude, didn't this, we see this already on Netflix? Oh wait, that was oh, versus the Bronx. Yeah. yeah, and that was way better. Oh, Sorry. Well, that was shit too, but better than this. Uh, Bloom is the literal asshole of the horror community because everything that comes out of him is shit. I a mean, asterisk, it, not everything, Dan. Almost everything is shit. Uh, and anything that was good, I, I, I have to think he just had nothing to do with because this is just, oh, just go watch True Blood and save yourself rewatch true blood and save yourself some time there's no reason to watch this goddamn movie i don't it, know it, about the last season of true blood dude <laughs> i think i might oh, watch, true watch blood this and in nine hours of that i i would watch any any portion of true blood buffy whatever this is I mean, buffy just in the ghetto uh, it's or Cabrini not, Green. I know you Whatever, figured Dan would love it that way. Ah. It, it is not good. They actually use the term vampire supremacist. And like it's <laughs> that, like, that made like, me giggle. Uh, that made me laugh it, too. It is so fucking dumb. Again, you can tell it is so fucking dumb. I feel bad that Keith David was in this thing. I really do. He's got rent to pay, dude. Yeah, I hope he got paid well because it's just why I, I can't even I could say like oh maybe a teenager would like it but there's better teen vampire stuff again go watch Buffy go watch uh, Vampire Diaries or, or whatever is popular at the moment because there is nothing not a shred of this movie you don't even is, like the main girl she's again fine it's not usually the actresses or actors it, it's just because I thought she was great. I didn't like. I didn't like little Mexican homie. I, I he was just, he was in his own damn mo- uh, movie with his own different tone. Even though this one was kind of wacky. Uh, yeah. Well, it's... for me, I think the girl stood out because she's in that other movie on Netflix. Uh, there's someone in the house which we didn't review, but I liked it. Apparently, it's like getting shit on everywhere. But mm-hmm. whatever. What happens now in the genre? Everything doesn't matter if it's great or not. It happens all around. Um, but I do lean towards Dan on this one. Like, this isn't great. I could just watch the uh, any type of Buffy or, uh, yeah, I can watch anything else. Like my my favorite vampire movie ever is Near Dark, and I could have just watched that instead. Yeah. But I do think it's a cool entrance if you're like t- maybe ten, eight to ten years old, and you want to just dip your toe into a horror movie. You and if you're of a certain if you're in a certain um, that, representation goes a long way, apparently. So if you're a black, if you're a Latino, this might be for you. Yeah, but, Dan doesn't get it because his people are on you, TV constantly. I don't really get the representation thing either because like, I grew up not giving a fuck and I still don't give a fuck of, like what you look like or I, how you act. Because I make those jokes and we all know that here. Plenty of representation in True Blood. I'm going to throw that out there again. Go watch that. Buffy as well. I wouldn't go as far as that for one. For the time. Dan's like, they had one of them. Oh, for the <laughs> time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah. It, I, I don't think it's the abomination Dan does, but yeah, it's, it, you can spend your 90 minutes doing something else that's or watching something else that's way better. I would have rather watched The Lost Boys too, so I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. At least you're not uh, sucking on that uh, bloom cock because – I, I would I was gonna be shocked if you guys like this one. I was like, I don't think there's gonna be any. I think there's moments that are uh, charming and fine, but yeah, as a whole, it's not like fucking. And also, again, maybe I missed something, but the the whole thing where, I mean, I guess they kind of explained it over time, but like the one vampire, and I'm not really spoiling anything that is okay in the daylight, yet the one character bursts into. It, I don't know. Maybe I think I you mentioned I like he care. was training because now the sun doesn't do anything to him. They they did explain it, but it you're already probably checked out, and I can't really. Yeah. Blame. It, it I'm, should... I, what I'm disappointed in truly is that you didn't react to my Blackie the Vampire Slayer. I'm I'm really hurt by that. Dan. I try and no sell it, but uh, I don't appreciate it, that. It was, <laughs> it was it was clever, Just more clever than no, this was. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, again, 
any message that you want to get out, like I thought the like when the, the big speech at the end about uh, gentrification and everything is like, guys, we get it. Why are you again that fucking hammer? It's like we get what you're going for, and that's fine. Get it in a good goddamn script because it, it, and I love movies that take place in New Orleans. I really do. So it, it, I just love New Orleans in general. I didn't even realize this was in New York, New Orleans. Was it really? Did they mention like? Well, you don't get a lot of great scenery or anything, but yeah, because yeah, they're in the New fucking Orleans. ghetto. Uh, they talk, yeah, they talk all about uh, Katrina and. Oh, Jennifer that's right. And, again, you have stuff actually a Katrina vampire movie should fucking rule. <laughs> whatever I, yeah um yeah i don't know guys sorry this is i mean it's not the worst of the worst i guess but there's just no reason that you have to sit down and watch black as night sorry uh people even anybody that likes this you're not going to be talking about this a year from now you certainly aren't going to be talking about it 10 years from now it, it's just that's yeah, no it's uh, just not you good live around atlanta they're going to bring this up every year sir no they're not you're not in my neighborhood. <laughs> you, know, you know what? You know what was funny going going into this. I was trying to remember after you know comparing it to the previous Welcome to the Bloom House movies, and the problem is I can't even fucking remember any of them. <laughs> yeah, I've forgotten. There like, was the I, one I liked, and it was the re, uh, it's an English remake. And it's with the uh, what's her ass? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, the, the um, chick. Yeah, it's um. Well, clearly I, remember, I can't remember that well. So, I remember, <laughs> well, no, because Sunita Mani was in an episode or in a, one of the movies, and I love her. Don't remember anything about the with her voice. Yeah, that was that was okay. I don't but, even know what her, that her, her her deep voice, the Indian lady, right? Yeah, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was her son? Uh, it was her daughter, and the son was a like, trying to stab yeah, everybody. Yeah, it, it was yeah. a piece of shit, but I, I like her. It's okay. But, so, well, right, do we, well, let's do we rate this thing? It. No, okay. I, I'm a one, but there's no reason to watch it. Right. It's a one. All right. Well, I'm a one and a half out of five. But I uh, don't I'm, recommend it. <laughs> I'm a one also. Okay. There we go. Uh, you can feel the enthusiasm. Let's see if we if if we break the streak here uh, for our next uh, Welcome to the Bloom uh, title, uh, which is Madres, for, um, which uh, in this one, um, from director Ryan Zaragoza, and in this one, expecting their first child, a Mexican-American couple moved to a migrant farming community in 1970s California, where strange symptoms and terrifying visions threaten their new family. Uh, all right, so um, I'm going to be really careful not to spoil anything on this. Uh, it's It takes place, uh, as, as the description said, in the 1970s, and uh, it delves into some a very controversial um, subject that was very much uh, in the news and the public conscious at at the time and again you could certainly make a great uh horror film on that that sort of that subject because it's very much you know it very true to life um but once again it's just ruined by uh bloom it's just got that bloom stink on it um, but I do have some good things to say about this one, so I'll, I'll try and be positive first. Uh, I really, um, Tina Cuerta, I believe is how you say his name. Uh, he was also in Forever Purge, which I hated Forever Purge, but I liked him. Good actor. Yeah, he's a really good actor, and I like that guy. Um, so I'll throw that out there. Once again, not really any major issues with the, the cast. Uh, Ariana Guerrera. It's was Diana. like Grande. She's not in there. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. They couldn't. They certainly couldn't afford her. Uh, uh, she's a very lovely lady. Um, and uh, this one, the setup, like it didn't lose me right away. I was like, okay, let me see where this is going. And um, it kind of like the, the actual horror element in here is very, very uh, mild. I almost wish this was just more of a. Minus a couple 
boo moments. This is basically more of a thriller. I think it would have been better as just a straight dramatic thriller because, again, there is a, uh, an idea. And well, yeah, a real life thing that uh, no. you could certainly make a fantastic movie off of because it's scary, crazy shit to think that it happened, you know, really at the end of the day, not all that long ago. Um, but well, it's brought up again in uh, with the ice cages and stuff. Apparently, it's happening now. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm trying to be careful not to go. I didn't say what it it doesn't really spoil anything, but it kind of does. So, um, it's just the execution sucks. I mean, the the message that you're going for, that's all well and good. It's just they can't fucking execute anything properly. And uh, by the end, I just I I didn't care, I just didn't care anymore. And it sucks because this one had potential, it just it missed for me. Um, how about you? I, want, I wanted more of an undocumented movie. You guys remember that movie? Have you seen that I movie? Do. Great yeah. movie. Yeah. That's that's what I wanted from this. I did not get that. Um, yeah, I, I, Dan's right. It's it's shot fine. The actors do what they can with the material they're given. Very cool concept. Poorly executed. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you when I checked out. Blue Alba Fresca. What the fuck is that? What flavor is that? <laughs> What's not a Raspada? We're not getting... No, that's not a thing. So 1977? I don't know. Todd, no, no. you remember that? I was one, Dan. Did you get a blue one in your bottle? <laughs> no, there's... <laughs> I don't know that fucking flavor. So that was that threw me off. I'm like, no, oh, this is... And without spoiling anything, but again, there's not really too much to spoil. Um, yeah, that's when I checked out and I was like, oh, we're not going to go where I want to. And we didn't. So, but, but you, I, uh, you agree the potential, like oh there, yeah. Are you kidding yeah. me? There, there's a subject matter in there that I want a whole horror movie based on. So yeah, um, forcibly, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this that for me, um, it's just under okay. Uh, okay. What about you, Todd? Yeah, I'm kind of with you. Um, I'm a, see, we got more representation in this one. Here we go. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, it was like there was elements I liked. I just didn't like the execution. I'm kind of like the same way. Um, I don't feel like I wasted my time on this one, but eh, it is what it is. I'm, I'm yeah. Can't really recommend it, but no. Yeah. I would definitely say you'll waste your time watching this. I watch a documentary on the. Uh, the subject, which I don't know if they were, we're going to have much of uh, in a bunch of a spoilers section for this, but you know, I'll name drop. See, it. I think maybe my, my leeway on this one is it, it is it trying to get a message out there. Yes. But it's not one that's like, you don't need it. It's, it's not one that we're hitting you over the head with now. Cause it's not one anyone talks about. It's not like I uh, even use Halloween kills. It's not like that with their, mom mentality message it's something that i don't think people this is more like they're just trying to let people know in an entertaining way it's debatable about the entertaining part but um it it, to me it was a little different than like something that we're like okay this is the hot button topic we're gonna we're gonna push it Mm -hmm. so that's why i I think that bothered me less yeah i mean like i said the kernel of a interesting idea but uh all right well we can go ahead and rate it um I, I still can't, I, one and a half. I, I just can't go any higher. There's life's too short, but how about you guys? Uh, I am a two out of five with uh if, if you really feel like pressing play, go for it, but you can watch something else. Yeah. I'm a two out of five also on this one. And I would really like that answer. Uh, what flavor that our fresca is. Cause I have, that's bullshit. <laughs> There you go. Uh, Went out there. Help plugs out. Yeah. (laughs) Please. Let's see if we can break the streak. Uh, Well, uh, well, I guess you guys. This is the last welcome to the Blumhouse title. Yeah, this is. Yes, I I should say there is another Blumhouse title, but uh, this is the last welcome. It's a bonus one from Epics. Uh, Yes. All right. So our next film from writer director Axel Carolyn is The Manor. Uh, after suffering a mild stroke, Judith Albright reluctantly moves into a, in, into a historic nursing home 
where she becomes convinced a supernatural force is killing the residents. Uh, all right. Um, so I will say, first off, Barbara Hershey plays our lead, Judith. Um, Barbara Hershey is fucking amazing. I mean, it's no entity. Well, no, it's no entity. Don't leave Bar out Deborah Logan either, please. Oh, there you go. You, you're ahead of me. Yeah, Jill Larson, uh, who plays Trish in this, was the star of Taking of Deborah Logan, which is, if you haven't seen Taking of Deborah Logan, which came out on Blu-ray about a year ago. I know, I still haven't watched it. You haven't? That is like, uh, I mean, I won't rate it here in case we ever do it again, but that is a fantastic horror movie. Uh, genuinely scary. Uh, Taking of Deborah Logan, guys. Uh, if you, It's on Blu-ray. Grab it. It's it's on my hard. list of stuff to watch. Yeah. Bump it up. Um, so, yeah. Uh, also, Bruce Davison is in here, of course, from Willard and uh, lots and lots of different things. Uh, so, great cast in this one in particular. Um, and, and, again, Barbara Hershey's a powerhouse. Uh, when I looked at this slate of films, I can't say I was particularly excited for anything going in, but I was like, okay, Barbara Hershey headlining maybe maybe we'll get lucky here um so well, before, uh, before i forget did you guys notice mick Harris in the back of the old folks home <laughs> no i didn't <laughs> no he's there at the, with the birthday it's fucking funny <laughs> um uh he's he's forever young mick Garris. he's oh, always yeah. had the wizard hair i wish i i always said when i was like old i would have the wizard hair but uh i don't think it's gonna work out so Get a wig. Uh, well, it's not. No one you wear a hat all the time. It's the same shit. Uh, well, anyways. <laughs> um, so uh, the setup for this one's actually fairly interesting. I mean, she checks into the home. Uh, obviously, things are not as they see, they appear to be. A lot of weirdness from the the workers and uh, and everything. Um, this one grabbed me because of Barbara Hershey at first. Um, I was like, okay, I can go along for the ride. Hopefully I'll get something uh, compelling. Um, there's some funny moments. Willard trying to get his dick wet made me laugh. Uh, <laughs> that was that was funny. Uh, and again, very sad uh, thing. You know, nursing homes, shit, great place for, although this is a one hell of a massive nursing home, uh, but that's a very good place to set a horror movie. I also did, uh, I thought it was interesting, they did the cat gimmick that we saw in Dr. Sleep, which was based, yeah. based on a real cat that would apparently, I think maybe still alive, uh, that would go to patients that were about to die. I thought that it, was... It, it took me a moment. I'm like, I know I've fucking seen this somewhere. And yeah. then it came to me. I was like, oh, it's the fucking... Where did you like, put that cat in a room somewhere where he's no, not? He put it to sleep. Oh, you don't put that cat to sleep. You it's fucking killing everybody him. else. He's not <laughs> killing them. They're going to die Euthanasia. anyways. Euthanasia. <laughs> They're going to die gone. anyways. No, I love cats. Yeah, just euthanize the... Oh, never mind. I'm not going to get... Boot stomp. Whatever Look, works. Oh, dude. Cats. <laughs> I love cats. It's like the one thing. I kill as many like The fucking people. Grim Reaper cat? Yeah, but he's oh, not. Ki man. The cat is not killing them. He is just predicting. He knows, like, hey, your he's numbers up. Them. Your numbers up, anyways, whether the cat jumps in your lap or not. So he's killing him. Anyway, he's not killing him. That's bullshit. Uh, so, anyways, uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> back to the movie. Little cat's name, uh, Pat Oswald. <laughs> unfortunately, like most Bloomhouse things, it's a, it's an execution issue. It just. It, it it doesn't go anywhere. I will say this one was not a painful watch for me. It was, you know, I'll never watch it again, but it, it, I, I could stick with it through the whole running time. I was never really annoyed by the end. I was like, eh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's, that's bloom. Um, but at least, at least our, our lead is, is charming. The actors are all good. Um, it didn't, and I didn't feel. I I won't say I wasted my time. I'll just never watch this one again. And uh, there is some cool um, uh, makeup on one uh, yeah. particular character that looked cool. Didn't um, expect that. <laughs> yeah, actually, very cool. 
I mean, it's not a major part of the movie or anything, but there is some really good Kenny. makeup. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, but I mean, not a lot of screen time. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, cool effects there. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is just for me, just all things added together. It's still just kind of an average one watch thing. So I, that's about as positive as you can get from a Bloomhouse movie. And uh, Barbara Hershey, if you haven't seen The Entity, or Lantana is another one I'll throw out there that not a lot of people uh, go and have checked out. Good Australian movie, Jeffrey Rush. Uh, the Entity is a Todd five star. Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah, five. five best, for me too. <laughs> the best paranormal yeah. movie ever made. You know another thing about this? And it, technically, I mean, she's 73, I believe, but at least some recent-ish photos I've seen of Barbara Hershey, I think they made her look a little older, which you shouldn't have to do at 73. She's but... still very pretty. So, yeah, like, she is. Even she's now. Yeah. yeah. Good for her. Um, For me, though, I, I do not like where it ended, and I, I did have a good time with the setup. About like the first act and a half. I was like, oh, maybe we'll get something cool. I The grandson, I could not stand him. I'm like, oh, so really? I, just, I did not like him. I, I was like, you're lame <laughs> as fuck, dude. <laughs> but that just could be his... He cared about Granny. And I appreciate that. Good grandson. But he is a, no, he's a bad grandson. Although I, I can't say that entirely because he went to go visit her all the time. But he's a weenie. And he needs to, uh, this will get me canceled, but he needs to man the fuck up. Like, come on, <laughs> like, be a little, be a little more, uh, aggressive. <laughs> Your moping is just killing me, man. Um, well, but, uh, sad. I mean, I don't know. Oh, the mother was a bitch too. The, her daughter. Oh yeah. The mother was fuck a, that lady blaming her. Work. Anyway, that whole relation, family dynamic needed work, but you know, whatever. I like the first act and a half. Uh, I, I I honestly was really annoyed how it ended, except when there's a certain thing that pops up. Like, didn't expect that at all. That's kind of cool. So, uh, kudos for doing that. But yeah, overall, it's fine. I this one I would recommend giving a shot. If you're only gonna watch one, I I think that would be the the majority consensus. I, I don't see it's anybody. The Manor or Bingo Hell. Those are the most the most fun of the night for me. Maybe bingo hell like didn't do it for me at all, but maybe that will click with some of you out there. I, I, think, I think it will. I think those are the yeah. two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about you, Todd? The manor. Um. Yeah, you guys already nailed it. 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 I didn't hate it. I didn't love it, which is kind of the theme for this thing. Even last year's, we were the same. Except that was Dan pre Dan's gimmick. So. <laughs> oh, I hated him back then too. <laughs> Anyway, it's, it's a new lifestyle. You're right, Dan. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah, I wasn't happy with this batch. All, all four, I was like, I couldn't recommend it. Did you expect anything though? Were you happy with the last batch? Hoping. No, I was hopeful. Yeah. Low yeah. expectations went in with like I normally do, mm. and eh, it didn't help. Yeah, I, I feel bad for anybody that wa you know sat down and watched all these over halloween <laughs> you know? um so yeah i, I don't know I, 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 it. again the manner um uh, what what say you pugs I i'm a three out of five with uh, this one i would press play recommend pressing play on i'm a two and a half i'm in the middle on this one too no, well, okay. on this one yeah, you know what? I can give this one a two and a half. I mean, it, it is you don't have to go out of your way to see it, but uh, and I only go a little bit higher probably for Barbara Hershey. And she, Deborah. Whatever yeah, her real name is. Jill Larson, yes. Uh, but if you take anything away from that, go see Taking of Deborah Logan. That's oh, a great this film. is a big fucking cosign. Todd. Yes. I know. I'll get on it. I can't believe it. we just need to book it for a show so you do sit down yeah. and watch it because that's a good I one. I do what I want. <laughs> you want to watch? I do. Deborah Logan. <laughs> all right. Well, that's it all for right. the Welcome to the Blumhouse, right? Uh, yeah, that's all the Welcome didn't do to this the Blumhouse. Year. Welcome to the Blumhouse. <laughs> <laughs> then they kill that song for me. Um, all right. So uh, this is also a Blumhouse title. Uh, one that I will say this Quiet. one. Yeah, yeah, uh, but one that a lot of people were looking forward to. Um, 
a lot of people have talked about this one. I, I'll, I had so it many just got on my it. radar not that long ago. My buddy who works at, uh, mm-hmm. I'll just say it, he works at Univ- uh, Warner Brothers. I'm sorry. Uh, he's like, oh, dude, you got to check this out. Because I was talking to him about uh, uh, tit- Titan. Oh, yeah. Oh, have you seen this one? And then we, we had our combo. But I'll, I'll give my opinion here. Yeah, the French connection, I guess I was going to say, not very yeah, similar. So that's, movies, that's but... I was like, why did you even bring that? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, other than that. Uh, uh, inside but... is a fucking masterpiece. Yes, and I, I'll, I'm sure we'll talk about that. But uh, but Leatherface uh, wasn't. No. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't even going to fucking mention We'll get there. Yeah, this is uh, from directors Alexandra Bustillo and Julian Mari, and it is The Deep House. Uh, a young and modern couple who go to France to explore an underwater house and share their findings on social media undergoes a serious change of plans when they enter a the interior of a strange house located at the bottom of a lake, and their presence awakens a dark spirit that haunts the house. Uh, so, okay, so you brought up Inside already. 2007, that film is a masterpiece. Inside... Uh, I was like, oh my god, this is this is a new classic. It's held up to this day. Uh, yeah. If you haven't seen Inside, you have, you must. Uh, unrated cut. I, I can't remember if that had a rated cut too, but um, Inside the is American perfect. Remake. No, don't. There's no reason to watch the American remake. Same thing as Martyrs. The Martyrs remake and Inside came fairly close to one another, and it was just like, why do these even need to fucking exist? Also, um, if you're gonna remake it, you go ham. You go hard as fuck. They were soft, and yeah, it was terrible. Inside, in particular, martyrs. It, it martyrs was, is yeah. no. They, instead of skinning the, we get a little back piece. Fuck off. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I get that, but inside was just totally different. Um, but yeah, the 2007 inside masterpiece. I I was like, okay, I these guys can tackle fucking anything, and I'm I'm in. Amongst um, the Living is good, too. Uh, well, unfortunately, since Inside, they've been chasing that greatness again. Among the Living was good. Livid's, you know, they're, they're, those cool. were both good, but they were not Inside. Level. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, they've just been chasing it ever since. Candisha, which we reviewed not too long ago, that wasn't very good. Um, that was all right. Uh, of course, they did Leatherface, which Todd brought up. And uh, uh, I don't really blame them so much for that. I think that was also just a case where you know you can't maybe just blame them i think there's a lot of things going on with that movie that just you know it is what it is um and bulgaria does not double for texas so that was also one of the big issues uh but yes so they've, they've never reached that greatness but deep house i was like oh man underwater haunted house flick uh i'm in uh, so this is definitely for me a case of uh style over substance. Uh, once again, the script, the characters really didn't care. Uh, but again, beautiful looking film. It was shot by Jacques Ballard, I believe is the guy's name, uh, who apparently shot like some underwater music video. I want to say for Beyonce. Uh, I've never actually seen the music video, but he's got, I guess, experience shooting underwater stuff. Um, I do That's also was... a first. That's the first time Beyonce has been mentioned on this show. Just That's saying. probably the last. Uh, and I, if I got the wrong singer, I'm sorry. but uh, the, less, also... the less good Destiny's Child. I know Dan's all about... Uh, uh, Dark uh, Meat? What... Yeah. I don't know who you're talking about, but uh, uh, Kelly Rowland, I believe her name is. She called Freddy Krueger very inappropriate word. Oh, okay, yes, I know <laughs> Kelly Rowland. Um, one uh, issue that I had uh, that, it, and maybe this was just a a tough thing to to get across, but it was a little too bright for being underwater. Part of the fear there is, you know, everything's just so well lit, and they had Tom. He's got a big yeah, old bright light. Giant. I know, but it, it, explained it, still, away. it was just way too... I mean, I'm okay with that. Because, again, visually... I like that we is, could see it. <laughs> I agree. But there's some shots where it would have been really effective, you know, more closet. closet well, it could have been way. worse. They could have just went on night vision. That is true. So, I mean, again, it's a beautiful-looking movie, but that's about it. Like, I was I, really... I really want a making of... Uh, oh, yeah. Like, working with water like that. 
That has to be a fucking nightmare. I I will I will pick this up. And there's some cool like the Leslie Gore French version of You Don't Know Me and everything that yeah. I feel like this might be really creepy for people that love like the Ghost Hunter stuff where it's just, you know, going into a a, a supposedly haunted house and you know, but there, there's just not a lot of substance. Didn't care about the characters. The couple wasn't interesting to me. Um, I don't know. There's even not 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 much of a, even a backstory for this one. It, it, it's a shame. It's a shame because it looks cool great. Idea. But what about you guys? Maybe you're more. It's hey, I think it's better than what we've had uh, before on the of the night. <laughs> yeah, if I, I I might watch this again one day with the right person. Yeah. Uh, what, what did you think, Pugs? I, I like it. Um, I, I can't say it's up to any level, like, inside, though. That, like, I'm still chasing that dragon, too, because I want yeah. that. Um, and I wish they would be able to capture that. But um, having a haunted house movie set underwater, pretty fucking cool idea. Mm-hmm. But Even it's, some Hellraiser imagery too. I should like um, it more. There he goes with because I was just gonna say because like the haunted house movie in space, Event Horizon, yeah. that's not very good to me either. <laughs> I like this one more. Uh, this could have used a little more Sam Neill, but <laughs> that, I, yeah, this one was way cooler to me. Glenn Mouse, um, I want that on the cover better than Event Horizon. Come oh, easily on. by far. <laughs> oh, uh, Less food radio <laughs> features, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Only so did. Pugs dread of flesh wound radio because no, I, I no, no, they can just and use Todd, their name. Todd, I, I know Todd's not crazy about that stupid movie either. Uh, but this, I yeah, tried. yeah, you can only do so much with that turd. And then I always get, oh, but the, the other cut, well, I can't watch the other cut, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like the, the, the couple was were fine, their relationship seemed a little rocky. Like, oh, once we get a million views, we'll go get a uh, hitched or whatever. That's kind of dumb. Uh, the backstory of the haunted house was cool. I kind of wish you would have known a little more because there's that that one where I the image where I got really excited is when they f- first went underwater in the house and that doll pops up. I was and like, I think, oh, what is will, that? <laughs> we'll eat that up. Yeah, I, that yeah. that got me hooked. I was like, oh, cool. We're, and then it kind of fizzles out. Like, don't get me wrong, where it ends is is cool. And I this one I highly recommend checking out because j- on a filmmaking level. I was very impressed because <laughs> again, yeah. working with water is so fucking hard. And then they kind of do the not found footage, but the point of view of like their point of view and then mm-hmm. Tom's point of view. So yeah, they have, it has a lot going for it. It just doesn't really like nail it home. So um, but yeah, gorgeous looking movie. I recommend watching it. Todd. Yeah. Um, I, I did like this one too. I mean, it wasn't, it was, I'll go with Dan. It was the best of the night. Um, there, I liked a lot of the imagery. Um, it got a little repetitive is the only thing. But mm-hmm. overall, I would watch this one again, too. Yeah. I did like it enough. The potential for just a fantastic movie is here. Um, and again, there are certain like maybe action things that you, you are going to be tough to kind of do underwater. Um Dude, I want like I this move this movie tri- uh, sparked an idea for me, and I would love to see the movie that I have in my head. But I won't say it here because who knows if I write it, maybe we'll release it somehow. Something uh, I'll predator it. Yeah, yeah, you know, motion comic. I don't know because like I there's I'm not a work of fucking water, but that's cool as fuck. That, that again, that's what I'm fucking impressed with. I have a boat. We can go out on the water. I not only do I have a boat, I, there is uh, Lake Lanier. It's a flooded town. There's graveyard. You have the there. deep house right in your backyard. Let's go. I, I have I'm telling you, if house. we do this, not only two of us are coming back. But... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how deep you could really go. I mean, again, it's way. Also, under, I got to but... figure out how much those fucking cameras are and stuff. That, there's a lot. I think I'd rather just make a motion comic. <laughs> there's mutant catfish, apparently, too. There's a, there's some ghost yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm not on going in that water, here. but I'll go on top. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's a weird one. Again, I I can sit down and watch this again and still enjoy it on a technical level. It's just it's uh, the the problem is when we have something like recently underwater that was really good. So that's I like that. A lot. And it's so much going on where this one's just kind of like 
if I would have saw him reversed, I don't know. I think I might have enjoyed this one better. Yeah, I mean, this is a haunted house, so it's a little different than it, it Underwater. Is. Um, and Underwater really was elevated by that ending. But uh, And I know you like the little boy lead. They should have a 4K of this, though. I Again, I'd really hope uh, that we get to see... Well, this uh, is an Epics exclusive, which we I don't know if we mentioned or not at the top. Yeah, I don't know where we land with him. I think we will eventually get a physical release. Uh, they put out, they just put out Pennywise. So, um, Pennywise, okay, Pennyworth, <laughs> okay. Pennyworth. F fast Batman fan, terrible. Uh, yeah, Pennyworth, which is uh, Alfred uh, Pennyworth's story, which is Batman's uh-huh. butler. So, they put out physical media, so we'll definitely get one of these. Right. Yeah, and I'm sure Bum, Bum House is like, yeah, fucking put that shit on the shelves. We got- well, we still don't have any of any of Welcome to the the Bum House one. So that might be an Amazon thing, though. Yeah, oh yeah, I, Amazon I, and Netflix don't like to let those. Problems yeah, you out. don't need to put that shit out. But uh, this, I'm mean, almost surprised with the gimmick that they didn't try and go theatrical. Although apparently, I think it might have aired in Europe in some what, theaters. But what era are we living in right now, Dan? This one <laughs> should not go to theater. It could potentially. It would look great it, on there, though. It could have potentially blown up a little bit. Yeah. I mean, you know, that forty, the- that forty-seven meters deep too didn't look any better on the big screen. Is I forgot. I want. I should have looked up before the actor. Is that Mick Jagger's son? Which one? In this? Oh, the the lead. I'm, I'm gonna look it up because his last name was Jagger, and I'm like, he's got Gee. that sh- that face. It looks shape. like him. I'm That's looking it I- up right now. All right, I'll let you look it up. Relative Jagger. Where's mom and dad? Come on, give me that shit. Mm. Son of Mick Jagger and Jerry Hall. Okay, oh. cool. And yeah, he was on vinyl too, which is essentially based on. Uh, still I haven't seen that. It looks fucking I know, awesome. I still gotta watch it. Yeah, it was canceled though. I, I don't know if it. Did has you get two any... seasons or no? I, one, I, I believe. One. Oh, okay. Yeah. Rare Mono was on that too, right? Ray Romano is an asshole, and yeah, uh, that's why I, that's what sold me. But fuck. Well, anyway, all right. too much to watch, not enough time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, there you go. Um, can we rate this? Yeah, let's go ahead and rate it. Uh, I can go first if you want, Dan. Yeah, go for it. So like we can start with the positive. Uh, I'm a three and a half out of five. I would like to go higher because of the filmmakers behind it and what they've accomplished. But all together, three and a half. With the go watch it. I am a three. It's better than average, and, and I'd watch it again. Not right away, but... <laughs> so, um, for, for the technical stuff that I think is actually really cool, it's a visual uh, spectacle, I'm giving this a very generous three. I have to put it a little bit above average just because of the setting and... Um, Again, I I would Let never me, watch any of these other movies probably ever again. I I might revisit except this the Manor. Fine. Let me ask I, you I don't this. think I'd ever watch that again. I just didn't hate Let it. Let me ask you this, Dan, just out of curiosity. Did you watch this one last? Um, no, no. What did I? What order did I go? Well, it had to be one of the last two. Yeah, it, uh, but I don't think it was the last last one. I think Madres was the last one I watched. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, you, you're uh, maybe your standards got raised because you watched this one so late in the game. That is true. <laughs> but again, uh, the average shitty Bloom movie does not have this kind of a setting. So there is that. And I do think some of you out there will really like this a lot. Um, I know Hayden Cornelius, friend of the show. Uh, I know he watched it, and I have a feeling he liked it a lot. I haven't talked to him yet, but uh, so yeah. No, I think this one definitely has an audience. It, it got, does. Yeah, it's got cool visuals, man. Like Few I little... want the making of. If it's not on the disc, put it on YouTube. I just want to see how frustrating this could be. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, so I think that's all we got for you guys. Um, yeah. Do we have a spoiler section? I, don't I guess we're skipping that today. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have much to say. If you want to know what we were talking about on Madres, that's not going to be hard to figure out. But uh, yeah, they, a lot of things you could have done better tonight. Uh, so in closing, uh, Bloom, you can still uh, eat a dick. You suck overall. Uh, um, but we'll... Well, whatever. I'm like, yeah, that's not an insult to him, you you jerk, you bigoted. Piece I of know. Shit. I don't. He doesn't. I didn't know. Is he gay? 
Okay. I didn't know Bloom was gay. So you go. I, you this is what I the old white man Dan still care. doesn't know what he's doing wrong, and I'm trying to talk over him so he doesn't <laughs> dig that hole deeper. Um well, Mr. Blum, I'll say his name properly. Blue. I look forward to more, even if I don't like it, because you're keeping the genre in the mainstream and making a shitload of money in spite of Dan crying like a little bitch on the internet. Well, hey, you're making money. I'll give you that, but you're not making quality films for the most. Oh, uh, this is America where we're at, and that's more important. With that being said, gentlemen, let's get the fuck out of here. Mr. Dan. Good night, guys. Mr. Todd. He doesn't know any better. I'll see you in Disneyland. <laughs>